Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Diablo 4 video. Another one. That's right, we're back at it again with another amazing unique. This one is the Uber Unique, the Ring of Starless Sky. How good is this Uber Unique? Well, today we're going to find out. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, this can come from the new in-game boss, Dorio. Now, if you do decide to form it, you will need to make it slick eggs in two shards of agony. Now, you will have to form this. Maybe Orange Jesus is with you and you get a little bit lucky and you can get it on your first drop. But for me, I don't know how many times I've been farming Dorio, but this is my third Uber unique to drop, so that's pretty cool, right? Now I was playing with my barb and playing with my dude, Bun. So shout out to Buns. Always a good time playing with you, my dude. And I finally got this to drop. So let's have a look at this bad boy. Then we're going to test it out and see how good this Uber Unique really is. Here it is, the Ring of the Starless Skies. Now you have resistances to all elements. We have Quick Strike Chance, Quick Strike Damage, Core Skill Damage, a Lucky Hit Chance, and what makes it unique, casting a Core Skill, cash reduces the resource cost of your core skills by 12% up to a maximum of 40% but it resets upon using a non-core skill so I went in to do a little bit of training with this bad boy put it on bosses put it on multiples and before I test it out I want to show you the unique ring and then show you my lovely legendary ring and show you the differences between the two and then we're going to test it out a special way to get the most benefits out of all of this. So you see right here, I do have some pretty good resource generation and a nice little aspect on there that will help boost up my resource generations. Boosted my skills all the way up to max and using Hammer of Ancients, normally I get about two Hammer Ancients per full bar of fury, okay? So first off, that's what we're gonna do. Now for swipes are concerned, regular attacks and then building up your fury to a hammer of ancients is usually about two sometimes three swipes and then i have enough fury okay so we're going to test that out as well with the new ring of starlets and see if it's going to change any of these you know fury all right so let's let's just just try it out first things first after i up this bad boy and ranked it up all the way up to the max you see the differences right here we got a little bit more crit strike damage core skill but I really want you to focus on the unique aspect of it because the hammer of ancients you'll see that I got a little bit more fury back right but still not enough fury for a hammer of ancient strike so it's a little bit of yin and yang right there it's very dependent on your build and I really didn't find a huge difference when putting on this uber unique so I said you know what? let me go into my build and let me get the most amount of fury back when I use a two-hand weapon and then let's test this out so let me get all of my fury back to max now hammer of ancients almost enough for another hammer of ancients with the star of the sky but not enough now as far as the regular swipes are concerned I can do sometimes two swipes and get a hammer of ancient sometimes one so it's actually working out a little bit better than expected as far as the bar build with the most amount of fury back for regular attacks with two hand weapons as opposed to not having it at max and trying to get your hammer of ancient so it procs every blue moon but it's not very consistent so it is a huge difference, but it's very specific to your build. The more faster core attack you can get off, the better it is because it's going to reset, which means you're really only getting 12% resource back and then just the regular effects of the unique ring. So, I mean, it's okay. It depends on your build. And uh, yeah, that's my review of the Starless Skies. But for right now, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Kim. A wide variety of videos running from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So once again, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.